Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So I've been meaning to record an SEO writing.ai tutorial for a while now and now I have a special occasion since SEO writing has just introduced GPT-4 128k. So we'll go over the main features of SEO writing, we'll write an article together and we'll be able to evaluate the content once again together. And I'll show you everything. So let's start with the keyword. The keyword in question is the one that has actually decimated both Agility Writer and Koala, which is free Claude 2 alternatives. If you go to my channel and scroll down a few months ago to this video here titled Koala Writer vs Agility Writer, I'm using this exact same keyword to write content and the content was subpar. And the main reason was that there were a lot of tools that were completely irrelevant that had to do with multimedia, with coding, outdated tools like GBD2, for example. Whereas I was hoping uh, for an up-to-date list containing Bing, Bard, GBD4, or whatever. So we'll do everything together. And before we do, this is going to be my uh, very simplified, crude understanding. I would like to give you more insight on how GBD4 8K differs from GBD4 128K. And so the reason being that SEO writing now allows you to use both or either. So my understanding is that with GBD4 and the 8K context window, when you're writing factual articles, for example, the way it works is that the AI will go to specific URLs, like your custom URLs, for example, one, two, three. Then it will create a summary of each URL and that summary will go forward to become a, the basis of the article. And the main problem with this approach is that uh, when you're creating a summary, a lot of information gets forgotten or just cut out and you lose uh, factuality, you lose the details that you might not have lost otherwise. With a GPT-4 128K, uh, this is entirely different. So you're still going to target URLs. But this model uh, within the SEO writing uses the full content. So there is no summarizing whatsoever. And this full content gets adjusted by uh, prompts that are know-how of SEO writing, and then they will become the article. So in the end, you get content that is more factual, more detailed, and just of a better quality. But enough said, let's go to our dashboard. Here you can have the one-click blog post generation and the bulk generation. And since uh, GPT-4 128K is still in beta and requires your own API and it's costing more, what I would suggest is to use that model for your money slash pillar posts, but use GPT-3.5 for your about article generation for supporting tier two articles. So let's click the one click blog post. Our keyword is free, loads to alternatives. Now um, I would stick to medium because medium is plenty already. So 24 to 3600 words. Tone of voice, I've been using casual because uh, in my testing, casual gave the best readability out of all the other tones of voices. The point of view, I've been using I for a while now, target country is United States. Now, uh, SEO writing doesn't have the inbuilt interlinking feature like Koala or Agility. So what I've been doing, I've been playing around with this prompt. It doesn't work all the time and I'm not sure if it's going to work this time. But basically, you are capable of including uh, three relevant links. And with a simple prompt, like mentioned below, using rich anchor text. And I'll be using it for each section. And again, there are no guarantees uh, that that's going to work, but I just want to test it out. Now for the images, I want the images. Um, let's leave it at three. I think that's plenty. Image style, I like cinematic. But since we're talking about the tools, essentially, maybe, just maybe, digital art, maybe that will do. Image size, I will, I will leave it at 16 by 9. YouTube videos, yes, I want YouTube videos. Um, let's do a couple. Maybe we uh, will choose later on the better suited one. And then I always choose the option to alternate images and videos. And I want all media elements to be under the headings. Then for the SEO, we'll go to New York Writer, even though the SEO writing has its own NLP uh, capabilities. But uh, since uh, New York Writer is known for LSI keywords, we'll just use that. And you can only use uh, 150 keywords within SEO writing. And they've actually improved that. I think it was 50 before. So we just paste everything here. 
For the structure, I want the conclusion. I want the tables, H3, some list, yes, italics, quotes, key takeaways. I won't be doing FAQs. Bold, yes. Now connect to web, certainly. Let's look at the links, real time search results, uh, URL references. Won't be doing any custom references here, just real time search results. Now publish to WordPress. Um, just to show you the feature, this feature, I will be publishing it on one of my unrelated websites that is dedicated to something else entirely. But once again, I want to show you that capability post status publish. URL should be like main keyword at this, uh, the first image as the featured image. Yes. And then uh, I'll be using my API key and I have access to GPT 4128K. And this is only available for the API users right now. And yeah, let's hit run and see what happens. So, okay, our article is ready. This is it. And I was um, right to choose the digital art. And uh, now, for those of you who have missed it, SEO writings images are actually free. Not only that, but you can regenerate your images uh, by clicking on the prompt and changing the prompt or the style, or just clicking this button here, and that's going to refresh your image. So, discover amazing free code to alternatives today. Key takeaways why cloud isn't the only option for conversational AI. But I'm actually more interested in the competitors. So Microsoft Bing AI, Perplexity AI, Google Bard AI. Nice. Okay. Jasper, Chat Sonic, and Hugging Chat. I'm not sure I would have put them in the same category, but they're all relevant. Okay. Now Pi, GitHub, Copilot X. Mm -hmm. And I like how it's uChart and Quora Poe. So, wow. And I actually put them in different categories. So, these are the leading three alternatives. But Bing, Perplexity, Google, Bart. These are business-centric AIs. I would say commercial, except for the hugging chat. Okay. These are your unconventional AIs. Uh, true that. And this is community driven, hugging chat and character. Yeah, that's what I said. Hugging chat did not belong in the previous category. But other than that, I would just, uh, I would say this is amazing. <laughs> and the only downside would be that I don't see. Oh, oh I can see some of my links. <laughs> oh, nice. In the same paragraph, but still. Okay. And let's just uh, try redoing the image just for the sake of it. And I think when you regenerate the image, the 10 tokens is deducted from your account, but that's, that's peanuts. Okay, <laughs> wow. <laughs> now let's just publish it. Oh, it actually, it should have been published already. So let's go to Science and Clues. And Science and Clues is actually an SEO writing case study where everything was generated by the GPT 3.5 and SEO writing. So we can check it out. Okay, okay. Nice. Yeah, and it's too bad the, the links are not uh, populated correctly, but still, that was a good try. And what I love about SEO writing and what sets it apart as well is when I go to edit post, and this is a freshly published post, so I haven't done anything yet. And yeah, as you can see, I haven't done anything, and I'm already 81 in rank math. This means that the uh, keyword is in the title, it's in the description, it's in the URL, it appears in the first 10% of the content, it's in the content itself, and the content is 4,300 words long, and you don't have to do anything. So this is um, by far, people ask me about what's better, SEO writing agility. Agility is the best choice if you know what you're doing, and if you have the funds. SEO writing is hands down the best SEO writer for beginners. So now let's check readability and plagiarism, since uh, I know I'll be asked about it. This is our content. Uh, so SEO writing is not known for the best readability, but still, uh, plagiarism first. And since this is quite long, oh, looks like your text is 100% original. So zero plagiarism, nice. What about readability? And readability is medio mediocre. Uh, ideally, I would love to see something above 40, but 30 is not the worst. So I would say it's uh, it's in the middle. So there you have it, guys. Uh, this article is by far the best on this topic out of the tools that I've uh, tested. It's better than Agility. It's better than Koala. It has 0% plagiarism. 
it does have a subpar readability, but the content itself, the depth of the content, is very, very good. And I invite you to go check it out. And as per usual, if you go to trickmino.ai tools and discounts, you will see an exclusive SEO writing discount of 30% off, so nobody else has this discount. And it's not lifetime, so if you sign up and then change your plan along the way, uh, you will lose the 30%. So choose your plan wisely, and I wish you luck.